Reports say at least some Republicans in the bipartisan House Problem Solvers Caucus are considering quitting the group after all the House Democrats voted with uh, eight breakaway GOP members to force Kevin McCarthy from the Speaker's chair. A draft letter from Republicans obtained by Axios says uh, to continue to participate in the caucus uh, would be to allow it to have the uh, bipartisan credibility it now lacks. Joining us now, Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick, co-chair of the Problem Solver Caucus. We watched, uh, Congressman. We saw the end result. Zero. Zero. Were there conversations beforehand? And, and can, can you tell me what the rationale was for supposedly um, bipartisan wishing individuals in the Democratic uh, side of things? What was there? I mean, I always, people differ with me when I call the Democrats the Borg Collective, but they never break. They never break ranks, ever, because they love to stay in, the power, in power so much. And that's what we saw again. Is that, is that, am I reading it wrong? Well, I don't, of course we met. We met several times before this vote. Um, we, don't dis we don't discuss internal uh, caucus deliberations in public, but I will say uh, that there are a lot of us that are very upset, and you can include me in that. Uh, this was a golden opportunity for us uh, to come together and actually oppose a move by the extremists in Congress. Um, and um, uh, the whole institution fell short uh, on that day. Um, and it's, uh, it's a terrible day for Congress, a terrible day for America. And what's really heartbreaking for me, I will tell you, is this all came about because Speaker McCarthy put a two-party solution on the floor to avert a government shutdown. No. Uh, that's the kind of conduct that's supposed to be rewarded, not punished. Right. Um, and for all these things that are critically important, particularly to the markets, um, av averting a debt crisis by um, you know, solving the debt ceiling, Kevin McCarthy did that um, and stabilized the markets. Government shutdown, Kevin McCarthy pulled a rabbit out of his hat for that at the last minute. And it was the Senate that actually stood down uh, and took up the House bill. So this, this kind of conduct needs to be rewarded, not punished in America. And that's no. what concerns me is the message right. that is sent here is that if you reach across the aisle to put a two-party solution on the floor, you're going to be punished and not rewarded. And that's, that's the problem, and that's what we need to fix. I mean, I also said fish got to swim, birds got to fly. I know how things work in D.C., but it's as clear as the nose on your face that you should dissolve that group entirely at this point. Because when the rubber met the road, they were nowhere to be found with all the highfalutin, purple state this and, and you know, Problem saw we work with the other side. Not even one, not even one had the courage to, to stand up. They, they just went along with, with the group and just let, let the McCarthy twist in the wind. Well, I will say this that there always needs to be some forum where Democrats and Republicans talk to each other. We're the only one in Congress. So I don't think the, the, the group can dissolve. I think there's always got to be a group. What good is it? It, it has it's some useless, discussion. though. It, it, when, it, when push came to Listen, show, I, it was totally in effect. It was, it was, uh, I, it was a joke. I, I, I will tell you this. Nobody's more disappointed than I am. So let's start there. Um, the group has come um, into play for other areas, uh, like the debt ceiling, like the government shutdown, where we issued a framework. But listen, you're not going to get any excuses here. I put, put me at the top of the list <clears throat> for people that are upset. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to gather as a group um, the GOP member, the GOP members of the caucus are going to meet next week, and we'll figure out a path forward. So uh, ha have things changed with that group? You better believe they have. Well, how about you this, better believe it. How about this? Uh, do we want the government, do, do your colleagues on the other side that, that were in the Problem Solvers Caucus, do they want the government to shut down in three or four weeks or whenever it was? Do they or don't they? Doesn't this make it more likely that that happens since there's, there's no speaker right now? So if they cared about the good of the country and what they supposedly, yep. purportedly uh, stand for, wouldn't that have been a, an excuse for them to say, okay, I'm not going to have this happen, I'm going to... For once, I'm going to do something and, 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 and help, uh, help McCarthy out. Would have killed him? Yeah, that, that, that was precisely the point I was emphatically making in the days leading up to this, that anybody who votes to vacate the chair <clears throat> is voting uh, for government shutdown in 40 days, that's how long we have in the CR, is voting to abandon Ukraine on the battlefield because it makes it much more uh, likely that that funding stream will not be continued. These are all the factors that people need to consider going into that vote. 
So let me be clear, nobody is more disappointed than I am. So add me to that list of people that are disappointed. We're going to get to, uh, uh, together as a group and we're going to figure out the path forward. Does there always need to be a group to have conversations across the aisle? Of course there does. Um, was confidence eroded? Yes, it was. And we're going to figure out as a group how to move forward because these, what you just said are precisely the points I well, made. This has nothing to, to do with Kevin. Why, why can't Hakeem says, Jeffries say jump and every single member says how high <laughs> on the way up? And on, what's with Republicans versus Democrats? And McCarthy, it was like wrangling cats every single time. What is the difference philosophically between what's Republicans' problem? They, they don't want to, they want to look like fools to, to the country and, and, and not, stick to, not be able to govern? Well, that's a question for the people that uh, did what they did on, on Friday. That would be my answer to you. So if you want to know why people voted the way they did on Friday, ask them that. I voted to okay. protect the speakership, protect the institution, protect Kevin McCarthy. We are going to do, by the way, we are going to do no better than Kevin McCarthy. The Democrats, my Democrat colleagues, are are going to do no better than Kevin McCarthy, and, are, and so all the consequences of with, that decision. Are you frustrated with the the other members of the problem solvers, the Democrats who did not vote to support him? <clears throat> have you have you spoken with them about that? Of course that? I am. What did you say? Of course, listen. Of course, of course, there's frustration because this was a golden opportunity. This was a golden opportunity to protect the institution. Um, and to not make things worse. But what have because you said this, to them, and will, the to will the problem solvers caucus be able to continue to work, or is this so frustrating that it's going to well, cause that's, problems? We're going to, we're going to, the, the, the Republican members are going to meet next week when we're back in session, and we're going to have a discussion, and we're going to leave it up to the members on how they want to proceed. I will say this. Uh, has has uh, confidence been eroded? You better believe it has. Does there always need to be some form where Democrats and Republicans talk to each other? Yes, I believe there does because there's always going to be other things coming up down the pike. And we have razor thin margins in the House and the Senate with divided control. Um, so that's, that's how I'd answer your question. But I will say this, everybody who voted to vacate the chair last week will own the consequences of that vote through whatever transpires here in the future, whether it be government shutdowns, whether it be a, a reduction or a cut of funding of Ukraine and everything else.